So I wasn't planning on vlogging today, but my mom took me and my family to this really cool restaurant. But it used to be a power plant and they converted it into a restaurant. And look at this. It's right on the river and it's beautiful. Power plant. And my understanding is one of the first two 
in the nation to cities to own their own power supply. Uh, after, I would say in the 50s or 60s, once that dam was opened up and the big hydroelectricity plant was producing power, everybody went to that. But the city still ran, ran this to supply the water plants, the water treatment plant across the way. And if they needed to, and that's why you still see it, if you go look at the switchboard right here at the black thing, it's connected to, uh, you'll see like label for the city, for the, the, the courthouse, and the county municipal. I would say they really stopped using this completely in the 60s. They would run that engine once or twice a year just to keep everything going because they want, in case they want to sell it, you realize it's not going to be a power plant. Nobody's going to uh -huh. use this. We need to find something else. So the restaurants was one of those things. Uh, and then we came around and started doing this stuff. Mike Claypool is the one that, that does that. And he just recently passed so, huh. We always like to say, Mike Claypool had the vision. It draws a lot of people to this town that yeah. normally wouldn't come here. Yeah. They're, they're driving by and like, whoa, look at this restaurant. Uh -huh. you know, so it's all the is this restaurant. Three and a half years. That's all? Yeah, three and a half years. We do tubing in the summertime. The, the canopy yeah. up there, the pecan trees and the oaks uh -huh. out there, this makes it shady so people come and go in. They, they float for about an hour and a half, two hours. My bus picks them up and brings them back. Um, it's an all-day thing. They, when they get hungry, they come and eat here. Yeah,